On a normal Monday, um, I've got my dog here, Lenny. I've um, had him for three years now. Um, live in Balmain, so I uh, like to go up and um, go for a walk and get a coffee early in the morning and uh, go to Woolworths and get some stuff for brekkie. But today's a bit different. Um, final round of the Masters is on, so um, definitely tune into that. And um, yeah, John Speed shot eight under, I think, so it's a pretty exciting finish. And, um, I like playing my golf, uh, a few other boys, uh, Tim Moore, Adam Thompson, Jeremy Cameron and that, all love playing golf, so uh, I like to get out on the course whenever I can. Uh, looks like one of the Americans is going to take out the win, which is a bit disappointing. Playing in Sydney, it's always a tough battle. Um, they're a great side and have been for so long and uh, we've been going back and forth for seven years with wins and losses, so um, they got the wood on us on the weekend and they played some really good footy and um, definitely saw today, so um, yeah, we'll take out a lot of things that we'll learn and we'll try to um, put them into put them into next time we play them and hopefully we get the wood over next time. Yeah, we got a real good support um, from the Giants fans at the SCG. Um, obviously coming over the bridge from the west and um, it definitely helps us over there and trying to match up the evenness um, against the Sydney Swans supporters. So um, yeah, we appreciate all our members and um, it's good to, good to see them come over and support us like they do. But yeah, he's an English staffy. Uh, he's got plenty of character. He's actually a um, really smart dog, and um, yeah, just around obviously Balmain. There's heaps of dogs around here, and um, I've always had dogs growing up. So whenever I was settled into a home, I was um, looking straight away to get a dog. And um, yeah, he's, he's a real good boy. Yeah, so this is Nutty Donuts. Um, fortunately for me, I opened up about six to twelve months ago. Um, I'm gluten intolerant and this is a gluten free, um, gluten -free uh, donut shop so um, you often find me here, uh, you often see Brett Delidio drive past here, lives close by and um, kind of give me some flack because he sees me here that much but uh, this is my little treat that I come to probably once or twice a week and um, yeah it's a great, great donut shop if you um, can't eat gluten. I've been here for nearly three years now so um, yeah I really enjoy it, it's a good family family environment around here, um, great location, real close to the city, close to the beach and close to training as well so um, yeah can't see myself moving for a while. So I live with um, Adam Kennedy, my girlfriend Beck. Um, Adam, we've been living together, we were renting out in Roselle before before he moved into my house. Um, so I've been living with him for five years now. Um, yeah he's an interesting one, I don't want to give him too much, too much slack but uh, I do all the cooking for him, all the cleaning. Um, but he's, a, he's a great housemate and um, it's been a real fun five years. And uh, I've got my girlfriend Beck up here now. We've, um, she's been up here for two years. Um, we've been going out for nearly three. So, um, yeah, having her up here is great. She's got, a, got her own life and job and um, she loves living in Sydney as well. Yeah, my Monday morning's pretty, pretty usual. Um, get up, coffee, go to the club, do some ice bars, but I do know her couple that have slightly unusual ones, you know, um, probably Kenners and Jezza. Adam Kenny would sleep in as long as possible um, and not do any morning routine. So I know that because Jeremy Cameron, um, for some reason he gets up at 5.30 every morning now. And back in the day he was the one that used to sleep for like 12 hours a night and um, we used to get up on the bus at 12 and he's like, oh I just woke up and like, what, what the hell's wrong with this guy? But um, yeah, now he gets up at 5.30 every morning and has about 20 coffees a day, so he's changed his routine up a fair bit over the years. Yeah, obviously this weekend we got um, Fremantle and Canberra. Um, our second game there this year. Uh, we obviously love going down to Canberra. Uh, we've got a really good record there and um, some great fans, and um, it's always great when we come down there. It's always a, a packed stadium and a great atmosphere, so uh, we're expecting a real tight match this week, and um, we know what Ross Lyon brings to their club and um, yeah it's going to be an exciting match and a tight one I reckon so um, yeah all the camera fans get down there we need all the support we can and uh, really looking forward to the game. Uh, so yeah just riding on the club now um, half an hour early unfortunately you don't live in the east so I can't go to the beach in the morning so I'll come in and do some ice bars um, and then we've got our individual reviews our team review um, get a bit of massage and treatment and then we finish round two and then hopefully um, straight to the beach after that for a bit of recovery as well.